Guys, it's Friday and it's time for a little fun here. So um, I stumbled on this technique for using dingbat fonts to do these fun little cartoon captions. And really, um, this is uh, opening the door to a lot more possibilities, but for now, let's just take a look at this fun little cartoon idea. So what I've got here is I've got a font here. It's called Bowl. Uh, I bought it as part of a collection that um, I, I really don't know. In fact, I'll, let me just come here. Um, uh, word it, uh, word mark it. I'm sorry, wordmark.it uh, allows you to you know go in here, type in whatever uh, letters you want, and then uh, it'll check your system fonts, and you can check it out. So I just use this as a way to kind of determine, uh, find a caption. So I just went through my fonts and scrolled until I found something that had something I could put text over. Is frankly what I did, and I saw this this cart these ca cartoon uh, caption right here. I thought, oh, that'll be fun. So um, I, I, then I loaded that up inside of Kinetic Text Animator and did this. Now here's one of the little tricks to doing this. If I click on this, you'll notice here that the font size is really, really big. If you drag the font, uh, thing, it maxes out at 200. And that wasn't big enough, it was still pretty small. So I just typed in a big number. And this is actually bigger than what I posted on Facebook. I, I did a quick little sample of this and asked if people wanted to, to learn this. Uh, I knew I was out of time, sorry, but I was. And um, now, um, you can use the grid to position this. This happens to be just centered over the stage, but I could actually also uh, put, say, say I wanted this to kind of be up over here a little bit. I can show the grid and then kind of paint around where I want it to appear and then reanimate it. And th there's that kind of problem that goes on there. That it's, it's a little... Um, you know, so I, I might, okay, that's not going to work. I might need to tweak it a little bit. Um, let's do something like this and then apply it and see how that works. Okay. So it's, you know, it's cut off a little bit. So you, 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 you definitely might have to play with it a little bit. Um, you know, I can do, I'm going to come down a little bit more and since it's going to center in that area, there we go. So now I've got that positioned where I want it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and come to the text and do it, hide the grid, show it again, and then do the text within that area. I What I found was I would have to play with this also. So let me play with this. And that actually looks fine. You know, that's roughly what I would want to do. So, um, and I, I might not like that particular, I can use a different text animation effect also, of course, but I just went ahead and used this one. Now, um, another little tip here is that uh, tip uh, is that uh, I had to use one of the animations that has a, you know, allows for a delay, particularly for the captions, so that I had time for the other animation to appear over it. Uh, this might argue for us adding this option to other animations. We'll see. Um, after Carvel looks at this, he might go, "Yeah, well, let's do that." So we'll see. But for now, you can do a sprinkled sonnet and a few others, I believe. I think up ended under utterance. No, I'm not, I'm not correct about that. But anyways, some of these, uh, some of the other animations do let you do that. But um, even just incidental, uh, I'm sorry, a sprinkled sonnet is great because it does randomly go in different directions. And anyways, you can you can get uh, an effect that's similar to this uh, quick, quickly and easily. A lot of fun. Uh, just a few tips that you need to be aware of is that you, you know, first of all, notice that I am overlaying one on top of the other one, which you can do. Um, and then the, I'm I'm sizing this really big to entering in that number. I found my uh, thing, again, using this tool, you might be able to find other tools that map out your fonts and let you know what uh, dingbat fonts go with what letters. But this is the tool that I used. Uh, finally, let me just point out that you can grab stuff like this on sites like defont.com. If you go to their site and then click on uh, dingbats and then shapes, that's where I find uh, some of the best ones. You'll have to wade through a good number, but you'll find stuff that I think I, there's a caption on here. Here we go. So, uh, stuff like this. And it doesn't, of course, have to be captions. You can do other stuff as well. I, in fact, I, I'm going to show you some other ideas here in uh, upcoming videos that are pretty fun as well for the same basic idea. There's also uh, Dingbat Fonts at uh, Font Squirrel, and there's probably others as well, but these are the, my two favorite places to go. Um, <clears throat> this one doesn't have as much, but um, I'm trying to see. I could have sworn they had a kind of cartoon-ish one. I, I do like their uh, splats here, but I know that they have an option for that. There we go. Here's some right here, not and mixed in with others. 
<clears throat> but you, you you get the idea here, you know, so just find whatever dingbat font you want, whatever dingbat you like <clears throat> that you want to put text over and then just use this to get it to be a large size and then animate over on top of it. So all I did once I had the caption where I wanted it, I just positioned my cursor once a little bit after, I mean, my, the playback head a little bit after where uh, it stopped animating in and then I added this and then put in my text that to, to animate over the cur cursor area. Of course, I made it white so that you could see and I added the shadow and everything. So just in case that's not obvious, the color is set to white and there's a drop shadow there uh, to make it legible. But you could just as easily do, you know, something that's black or dark color with, with light text on top of it as well. So pretty fun technique. I hope you have a lot of fun releasing the dingbat and uh, uh, look forward to more releasing the dingbat uh, techniques here uh, coming soon.